Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat, and uh, I've noticed that Haiti's been in the news a lot, not for good reasons. The uh, tropical nation, I, I believe it's tropical, over by the Dominican Republic, right? There's lots of talk about civil war. Actually, the media is calling it like light civil war or something like that. Near civil war. <laughs> Can you have a light civil war? Is there like a light version of it? But also they're talking about like uh, criminal activity and needing to evacuate staff from the U.S. Embassy because of the criminal activity, which I wonder if that has something to do with the, uh, the roaming cannibal gangs. Thanks for sticking with us. Sorry about that. This time, I do have coffee in the cup this time. I'm not uh, going to show you guys the cup because it'll spill all over everything. I think that my, my laptop will probably work far less well with coffee spilled on it than not. So it's just not worth the, uh, the effort to show you guys that there is coffee in that cup. You'll just have to trust me. So, yes cannibal gangs or at least cannibal gang leaders now they're trying to play it off like uh this is no big deal i'm you know whatever uh, to me you know like people eating people or even just biting into dead people that's pretty extreme that's like that's pretty grotesque and that is not in dispute that this is happening because it's in videos i guess there's a guy called barbecue you probably heard about he got his name, supposedly, according to the guy himself, he got the nickname because he used to like to eat street food all the time. Now, now you know, he eats people, apparently. But I was wondering to myself, what, what happened to Haiti? It's my understanding that, you know, I remember they had the earthquake and everything was broken and everybody was donating money and stuff to Haiti to help Haiti. And uh, they'd taken the Clintons and put them in charge of all this taxpayer money that's supposed to go into fixing Haiti and redeveloping the country. It's supposed to be some kind of new experiment to show what American giving can do. And the next thing I know, I'm hearing about Haiti now. Well, granted, it's been, you know, like 14 years, but uh, boy, time passes quickly. I, I figured, you know, all of that aid was going into fixing up the country. In fact, I was just reading in an article about, um, I believe it was a four almost uh, somewhere over four billion dollar investment of taxpayer money from u.s aid under the direction of the clintons to build some kind of um, industrial park and getting people to move in there Wh what happened you know if we've been spending all these billions and billions of dollars supposedly in haiti to fix it up wh why is it such a disaster how, how what is going on how come they they are suddenly having like civil war and, you know, there are uh, roaming cannibal gangs, supposedly. What, what is going on? What happened with all that money that we sent to Haiti to try and fix things up? I, uh, I, I, I'm really curious, you know, because I've heard all kinds of things about, you know, like the, the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation and bad things going on in Haiti. And it's just a money laundering operation. These are things that I've heard from the Internet that, you know, I've. I've never seen anything to back it up exactly, but uh, wow, you know, clearly the money hasn't been going to make Haiti a better place because people don't have civil wars when they feel like they're, they're living in really great conditions. It's one of the reasons that China hasn't had an uprising against the Communist Party because they figured out really quick that if they, you know, if life is good, at least good enough, then people won't, uh, won't rise up. So, you know, they're, they're always trying to strike that balance, like being oppressive, not being too oppressive, making sure people have what they want. Uh, clearly, that did not take place in Haiti. I'm not, I'm not over here advocating for the Communist Party of China or anything. I'm just saying, you know, what, what's going on? What, it, what happened to all the money and all the stuff that Americans were sending over there to help? If suddenly the country is so bad that people are following, you know, like the government has lost control to random gangs and violence in the streets to the point where we have to evacuate embassy staff and now they're talking about uh, sending marines now they're, they're being very clear they're not sending they're not putting boots on the ground even though they kind of are to you know add security or bolster security at the embassy for evacuations and i guess to protect the people that are left there <laughs> is it really that bad i mean 
I'm hearing about the, the world has gone crazy. I just heard that Biden renewed the uh, whatever it was for Iran. So we're going to be giving them another twelve billion dollars. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. They're they're supposedly backing the the stuff that happened in Israel, and here's Joe Biden sending them twelve billion dollars of American money. What now? You know that's the stuff we know about. What's going on in Haiti? What is this? Uh, that's a pretty close neighbor over there. Now they're talking about uh, you know migrants that are coming across the water trying to get into America. We're going to send them and process them through Guantanamo Bay, where we keep all the terrorists or whatever, and send them back to Haiti. Uh, that's one that I feel like is you know if anybody was looking for asylum or you know, some kind of refugee trying to get to America. I would, I would think they were coming from there legitimately, you know, like, Hey, I, you're, you're really close by and I'd like to get away from the people that eat their enemies. It kind of reminds me of something that happened in Syria before the whole, uh, ISIS and all of that broke out where they were saying that we were supporting groups of people that were cannibals. You know, what's going on? I mean, yeah, I, I just have some questions. Does anybody else know? I mean, maybe somebody else watching has some information that I've missed. I, I, in the uh, the brief time that I had available to look into this, all I could see was that the Clintons were all over Haiti. I mean, apparently they went there on their honeymoon in like 1975 or whenever that was and fell in love with the place. And so they have taken it upon themselves over the decades when they've been in their powerful positions to supposedly help the place which again I'm, I'm asking myself what happened you know if they've been helping them all this time then why why is haiti the way that it is it's been a, like i said it's been what 14 years since that earthquake and all this aid has been going over there and the clintons have been supposedly over there helping them with their foundation and this is the result what happened I, uh, I guess it didn't work. The experiment failed. You, you guys will have to tell me if you know anything in the comments. Just tell me what you think. But uh, it certainly does raise some questions about what has been done with our money. I, I don't. I feel like nobody asks these questions. And I mean, sure, you're asking and I'm asking. But uh, who's in the government holding people accountable? Okay, we sent billions and billions of dollars over there, and this is the result. Well, what happened? Clearly something went wrong. It did not help the people in Haiti at all to the point where now there's total chaos. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that. I've got to go get my son, so I'm going to end it here. We'll see you guys in the next one.